Good day. Today, I'm going to demonstrate about tapping and tailing. First, I'm going to assemble the things that I need. Dry cotton balls, baby powder, alcohol, petroleum jelly for ointment, lotion, cold boiled water, damp towel, dry towel, a clean clothes, diaper, and cotton buds, a waste basket, changing cloth, and then a table changing. First, do secure the place that where you do a tapping and tailing for a baby. Important that the temperature level is 29 degrees Celsius and avoid distractions, lock the door, and that's it. After I do prepare the place of the baby, make sure that you're going to do a proper hygiene. Do a hand washing before doing the procedure. First, I'm going to get a changing cloth for a baby. Get the baby for a supine position. Next, first, we will go to wash the eyes and get a dry, dry cotton balls and put it in a cold boiled water. Get squeeze and squeeze and get the existing water from inward to upward out. And then disregard. Next, I get another one for another side. Inward to upward. Disregard. Get a another one, a dry one, to dry up. Dry up. Upward. And then next, Next is the forehead of the baby. Same way to the eyes. Squeeze the existing water. For, uh, forehead down to face. Next, forehead down to face. Dry up with the dry cotton balls. Same way to the another side of the face. And then next, the ears. You need to be careful to use a clean, uh, you need to be careful to clean the ears. You can use a damp towel for the ears and then do a pinch to get the dirt downwards up to down. And then the another side. And then you can use a cotton balls to dry up. And then for the cotton bags, you can use with this to the ears but in the outside not in the inside because it's dangerous that you were going to put this one inside the ears of the baby then you can use the other side because the ears the mucus and the wax of the ears is will come out or mugawasarasiya if na na siya daghang mga ugaw. And the next is the mouth. The mouth, the baby. 
You can use the drum towel mouth. And then in the chin. The chin of the baby. Drum towel. And then the cotton balls to dry up the mouth and the chin. You can use another one for a chin. And then under the neck. You use another dumb towel for the neck. And then give up the chin of the baby to get the excess milk of the baby. The dirt. Make sure the creases the linings under the neck around will clean up and the next dry up you can use a dry cotton ball to dry up kung di gaya kong kakuntin to nga Kanang ugana ang face ni baby, you can use a dry towel. Down. Then, another side. Down. Then, after that, I, you are going to remove the dress or undress the baby's dress. Undress the baby slowly. And then next, we're going to clean the underarms of the baby. Put a cold bottle of water and then squeeze to get out the excess water. Up to down. Up to down. Make sure the creases or the linings of the babies will get the dirt get another one for the another side and then dry 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 it dry it and then next don't forget to clean the between fingernails of the baby Put cold boiled water. Mm. Another side. Fingernails. And also the creases of the hands. And then dry up. Use different, different dry cotton balls to dry up the skin of the baby. So that can avoid an irritation of the baby. Next, after that, and fasten the diaper of the baby. This is what you call a tailing. Hold both feet and then halfway of it, get the soil of the dirt of the baby around the bottom. And then fold it around. Close close the diaper securely in the next put the baby's breast
make sure that the button is securely closed to protect and to warm up the baby skin. Next, after I go, uh, after, after na ko kitang pa ang diaper, limpiwan sa na ko ang piin sa bata. Dry. Uh, put some water. The exit, the linings of the baby, or what we call mga folds sa baby. So baby, dry, dry. The next, down to the toes of the babies. Make sure you get the dirt of the every folds or every linings of the babies. Another side. Gently clean and then dry cotton balls to dry up and then dry cotton balls to dry down. When I'm done cleaning the tooth of the babies, I'm going to clean up the genital part of the baby. This baby he is a girl. I get a cotton balls, put some water, squeeze from front to back, front to back. This goes, and then get another one to clearly clean. From front to back, front to back, and then the dry cotton balls, dry cotton balls. If ever the baby is a boy, you just hold the penis of the baby from side to side, clean up by using a wet cotton balls, side by side. Down to scrotting, down, clean. Then get another one from penny side by side. Down to scrotting of the baby. Make sure to clean it properly. And then get a dry cotton balls. Hold the penis of the baby. Make sure it is dry down to the scrotum of the baby. Get another one. Next, check if the baby's butt is wet or you can clean up with cold water and then get the hands of the baby. So that you can check if it has an existing soil matters from the baby's birth. And then dry up. In the next, slide down the diaper to put the baby's nappy. The new diaper. It's a clean. And then fasten the diaper whatever it's comfortable for a baby. Or first you can put a Petroleum jelly or any ointment to protect to protect a rushes of a baby. You can put any of a 
and then wrap the baby, must stand up, diaper, must the diaper, and then use a cotton balls, dry cotton balls, to get the existing ointment to put under the buttocks of the baby part below the diaper and then next next put the nappy of the baby or pajamas for him or for her to warm up. <clears throat> Gently wear the baby's pajamas. After after I put the diaper, I must put I must clean the umbilical part of the baby's a cord umbilical cord of a baby using a cotton balls and the alcohol. Side by side, not directly into the middle of the cord cor, uh, cord of the baby side by side and then dry up okay continue to dress up the baby dress up and then now the baby is clean and then Put the baby in his crib. Be sure that his crib is safe and clean. After, after I'm doing it, tapping and tailing, you must keep all the things that you use in order to their places and keep away the things that that you use for the baby and put away this one and then this one disregard to the trash bin and after I'm done with my procedure don't forget to do a proper proper hygiene act. Do proper hand washing before and after. Tapping and tailing for a baby is very important to them and it's more comfortable to them for their first week of life. Thank you, Miss Lee.